Hello friends and welcome to my next RuneScape tutorial. Today we're going to be completing the Rag and Bone Man quest. It's a cute little quest where if you pay attention to the dialogue you'll get a few of those classic RuneScape chuckles and a strong sense of, did I just derpily help a bad guy? Oh well, quest complete. Today I'm going to be experimenting using this RuneScape map to point out stuff along the way. So let me know if you find it helpful at all. As an example, to find the quest giver you'll need to travel just a tad bit east of Varrock, found here. Speak with the odd old man to receive the quest, and he will give you a quest which will involve three main phases. First, kill eight creatures and grab their unique bone drops. Then, combine eight jugs of vinegar to eight empty pots, and combine each unique bone to its own vinegar pot. Then you'll just need to return to the odd old man with eight logs in your eight bony vinegar pots and start cooking up them bones. We are going to start our bone collecting spree in Varrock. We'll head just a tad bit east of the lodestone. From here, we'll find the goblin, the rat, and the unicorn all hanging out here together. Not gonna lie, seeing those fireballs shoot out from the unicorn's tail is pretty dope. When you finish collecting those first three, port on over to the Falador lodestone and start trekking towards the barbarian outpost. You should see some black bears roughly halfway there. Alright, due to my extremely derpy mist up there, I figure I'll just show you guys the map on where to find this bear here. Ram is a pretty easy one. Just go north of the Lumbridge Lodestone to the exact same pen that you'd go to for the Sheep Shearing Mini Quest. Our next stop is going to be the Lumbridge Cave. Before we head there though, we will need a couple of items, a rope and a light source. I find that the easiest light source to obtain is a candle from the salesman in Catherby. You may wish to send some food too as the frog and the bat are a little bit tougher enemies than the rest. The bat is the stronger of the two, coming in at a combat level of 44. Lumbridge Cave is found just a tad bit south of Lumbridge itself, in the really dark spooky area. When you get into the cave, it'll be too dark to see. Uh, click on your candle in your inventory to light it. While making your way through the cave, you'll see some gases coming out of the sides of the walls in one section. You'll want to extinguish your candle real quick just to make it through that small section. Relight it when you're on the other side. I forgot to do that this run, and I kind of blew up and took some damage. Not gonna lie, this is the toughest frog I've ever fought.
The next creature will be the giant bat. I ported from Sears Village and went right around McGruber's Wood to get to the coal truck's location. Do note that this route does require an agility level of 20 to get over the log bridge shortcut. The monkey can be found just a hop skip north of the Kurumja Lodestone. Since it is a quest you can do quite early, if you haven't made it to Kurumja yet, talk to one of the sailors in Port Sarim and pay a toll of 30 coins and you'll get an instant teleport there. Now that we have all the bones, we need to head to Draenor Village where all the market stalls are located. You'll see a wine stall run by a character named Fortunato. Speak with him first about the Rag and Bones quest. Uh, he then will allow you to purchase the eight jugs of vinegar that you'll need for the quest. You need to combine each jug of vinegar with an empty pot. Then you'll combine your pot of vinegar with each unique bone drop that you picked up earlier. Now will also be a good time to drop some trees so you can get eight logs for your inventory. I will presume at this point that you have everything combined and gathered. From here, we just need to meet up back at the area where we started the quest. So I'll see you there. All we gotta do now is find the fire pit, lay some logs down, drop one of our pots over top of the pit, light the logs, and then wait a couple seconds. Rinse and repeat with all your bone pots. When finished, talk to the quest giver, and presto! Great success! Thank you all so much for making it to this point in the video. Please do let me know if there are any improvements that I can do on these videos as I plan to do plenty more. And also if there's certain things uh, that I'm doing right, let me know as well. Any and all feedback is much, much appreciated. Well, until next time, GG's mate, GG's.